Okay, in this question here it says if the amplitude of the oscillation, same log times same spring, is double, what would the period of the oscillation change? So what are they saying? If I have a spring mass system like this one here, that's oscillating with an amplitude of 8. So from here to here, I have twice 8. This would be the equilibrium position from one to one. And it's going to have a period. Now, what if we double the amplitude and make it instead oscillate with an amplitude of twice 8? twice a minus twice a and this becomes 4a altogether what would happen to the period does it double is it half or would it stay the same now remember the expression for the period for a spring mass system p is equal to 2 pi square root of m over k k is the spring constant is 2 pi square root of m over k. Notice here there is no amplitude there. It depends on the mass, on the spring constant, but it, uh, it does not depend on the amplitude. So the answer to this question it should stay the same. Second question. So we have the spring mass system oscillating with an amplitude of A. We have the plot here as shown. And this is asking us at what point during its oscillation is the magnitude of the acceleration of the plot the biggest. Remember what the acceleration is. What uh, the acceleration is A of B is minus omega squared X of times x of t. In other words, if I'm going to graph this, I'm going to graph along with this a. So of course I'm going to have a different scale for a, but I'm not going to draw the scale here. It's going to be the negative of, uh, of x of t times omega squared. So it's the negative. Whenever x is maximum, it's going to be the negative of x. Whenever it is zero, it's going to be zero. So I'm going to get something that's going to look like this. That's it. Okay. Now notice these positions are the positions of course, this has to have the same amplitude as this, are the positions of maximum acceleration. The maximum acceleration is going to be omega squared A, and it's going to be either positive or negative. Okay, in this particular case, I guess, I'm not showing the scale here, so omega squared A is going to be here. So when do we have what points during the oscillation is the magnitude of the acceleration of the block the biggest? It is when x is equal to plus a or minus a. So here, 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 and here. The last question here. So again, we have the same setup. And the question is, at what point during this oscillation is the speed of the block the biggest? Now, the speed is out of phase from the position. The number of expression is V of T is minus, or actually, it depends if I have a sine or a cosine, so it's going to be minus omega a cosine omega t plus 5. C 
So when x is a maximum, the velocity is zero. When x is zero, the velocity is a maximum. So I'm going to graph it here. So the velocity is going to be a maximum when x is zero. So this is started with x positive. Velocity is going to be here, zero here, maximum here, zero here, and so on. So when is it equal to c? Uh, when is the velocity maximum? When x is equal to zero, and so on. 